everyone. My name is Squidhead Joe. I'm a part of NoCal Rising and I'm going for the NoCal Recruitment Challenge. So today I want to talk to you guys about my journey throughout content creation as well as my journey throughout the RC. And I want to also tell you guys that later on in the video, I'm going to have like a 10 minute section from the Respawn Recruits Invitational Challenge that was given to us because it's pretty much the same thing talking about our content creation journey. And I think it was well put together. So excuse me for using that all right so future squid here i'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys i'm not gonna include that respawn recruits invitational video at the end of this video i'm gonna leave it linked in the description just so that this video is not bloated with old content as well as being like almost 20 minutes long but that video is very informational and it explains like i said why i decided to get away from gaming content and my journey going into product reviews and why i made that decision and i think that it could still be used here I just don't want this video to be like I said 20 minutes long so I definitely highly recommend going to watch that video again it will be linked in the description enjoy the rest of the video now throughout this recruitment challenge I have been live streaming over on kick I pretty much stream FPS games and I also talk to my audience about content creation education and gear recommendations and it's just like an open platform for me to be able to do that stuff to connect with my community live and I've been seeing success over there. There's been multiple times where kick staff have come to into my chat as well as, you know, bigger streamers hosting me, rating me. Kick staff has put me on the front page numerous of times, sometimes telling me, sometimes not. Um, and I have also won a kick pick of the week. And um, it's just been a very, very good experience over there as far as growing. But outside of that and trying to stream regularly, I still have been somewhat, I would say busy um, with YouTube and one of the biggest things throughout this RC that has happened to me is that I've reached a YouTube partner and it's just been crazy to be a part of this program because I never thought that I would get to this point to be able to do this not even a million years around the time that I joined NorCal Rising I realized the type of content that I was making was just not sustainable not only from a mental health perspective because I have a myriad of problems when it comes to mental health and I've talked about it extensively on the channel so I'm not going to bore you guys with that but if you know me you know and I have a one-year-old at home who has his own medical issues I have a wife at home I only have content creation time for about three to five I would say hours a day and I just realized that I was wasting the time that I was given to do that stuff by trying to stream and only having the objective of the stream being to hit a clip or to dance on the stream so I can have I would say footage to upload to you know multiple different platforms as well as trying to shoehorn in the content that I wanted to make which was doing the product reviews and I was trying to do those at least twice a week if not more and I just realized that I was running myself ragged mentally and physically and it was just like this is not sustainable like I said and I realized that 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 advice of uploading to every single platform and everything is going to be very detrimental to some content creators out there it won't be for all some people might find success by doing it but for me personally it's not the content that i want to make just because i live stream and i hit some clips every now and then i'm not a pro player i'm not going to be having clips go viral so why should i push myself to to reach those heights if i know i'm never going to make it and i realized that it's the same feeling i got when I decided to switch over to product reviews. And I'll get to that a little bit later in the Respond Recruits video on why I decided to switch over to product reviews. But it was the same feeling like, this is not the type of content that I'm supposed to be making. Yes, I enjoy dancing and I still upload them every now and then, but, and I enjoy playing video games on stream and everything. But what I wanted to focus on was the content that I found enjoyable to make. And the content that I found enjoyable to make was the content that was doing the best on a platform. And that was YouTube. And that was a full form video format. It wasn't the YouTube shorts. It wasn't any kind of shorts content or any kind of TikTok content, anything like that. It was full on 10 minute, 15 minute, 20 minute videos. And every time that those videos would take a hit as far as views or the quality of the content was because I was focusing on TikToks and YouTube shorts and all that other stuff. And I wasn't giving the, I would say the actual product reviews, my full fledged time and attention. I have noticed, like I said, I've reached YouTube partner. 
in, in a short amount of time doing the product reviews, as well as been seeing, you know, an uptick in subscribers. I'm almost to 1400 subscribers on YouTube now. And it's been around two years of me doing the product reviews and me testing the waters, trying to figure things out. And I wouldn't have had this opportunity if I was just like everybody else uploading you know, to every single platform available. And like I said, working myself ragged, doing content that I just truly didn't enjoy. And like I said, I was trying to fit a square peg into a round hole and it just wasn't working for me personally. It might work for you, but it's not, it was not something that worked for me. And that's something that I learned throughout my journey, as well as throughout the journey of the RC is that I just need to make content that I'm capable of and not only that but i'm comfortable with and now i've worked with numerous of brands on i would say varying success on some videos um some videos have not done so well and stuff like that so i'm still trying to find my ground as far as what kind of content to bring to a platform and and i could do some like flashy stuff because i have cameras uh, and all this stuff wherever for this video but i just feel like that's not that's not me you know what i'm saying like I'm comfortable with the type of content that I provide on the platform the way I provide it. And yes, I've tried to post on Instagram and like take product photos and post up there or wherever I'm trying to get into photography, like taking pictures of my son and like I said, working on, you know, trying to take pictures of products and stuff like that. And I'm still learning and it's a slow process for me, but I'm still trying to get the hang of things. But I just noticed that like I said, if I try to emulate or do what everybody else is doing as far as posting on all platforms, you know what I'm saying? And I know I'm putting a hindrance on myself as far as not posting on those other platforms, but that's just not me. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to focus on YouTube and getting YouTube partner and focusing on it and seeing the growth and what has been working for me personally. I realized why should I try to fit myself into a space to where I'm not comfortable and that's not what I want to do. So to wrap up this video, because I don't want to take up too much more of your time because we still have that respawn recruits uh, portion of the video to go through. What I want to say is that this information in this video is actually going to help out a lot more people than you would think. A lot of people are following that rhetoric of posting to every single platform, trying to upload twice a day or wherever with YouTube shorts or TikToks or something like that, especially in the streaming and gaming space. And a lot of people are limiting themselves and holding themselves back back by sitting there trying to do gaming content and make it as a gaming creator when all actuality they should probably be doing long form video content like something on historical facts or something in mechanics uh, work or wherever field and automotive or something talking about you know art styles and stuff like that because they have the knowledge a lot of people have degrees and stuff and as long as it's legal to do it you could be making educational videos on that stuff something that's going to not only express you as a person but you're going to be knowledgeable enough to cover whatever topic you're covering and on top of that like i said letting your personality shine through because that's what people like they like the genuine connection they can get with another human being because we're social creatures we connect people with people on that fundamental level that's why you like playing video games with some people and you don't like playing video games with other people that's why you're drawn to certain content creators and you're not drawn to other ones it's because we're social creatures and on the fundamental level we connect with people because it's the personality some people might watch people for gameplay or whatever but don't like the personality so they only watch them every now and then or they only watch like a little clip of them why do you think that is it's all psychological and like i said if you're putting your nose to a grindstone constantly just you know doing the gaming content or whatever and you're not seeing any growth and stuff with it there's nothing wrong with taking a step back like you don't have to make a new gaming or new channel or anything like that. I just switched over to doing it or whatever and keeping the same gaming channel that I had and I still hit YouTube partner. You know what I'm saying? So it is possible. And like I said, some people might find success. I know a number of people who have found success with doing gaming content, making a living off of it and everything. But like I said, that's not going to work with everybody. That's not for everybody. And that's fine. Like I said, I still stream over on Kick. I've done Kick's talent show, dancing on the streams and stuff like that. I still hit clips in video games and I still upload them from time to time. But like I said, just focusing on one platform and focusing on the content that I want to make on that platform, I have seen, like I said, substantial growth 
just by being myself and covering the stuff that I want to cover. And doing that has been more successful for, for me than just sitting there trying to be another gaming content creator, uploading clips and uploading, you know, to multiple different platforms. Like I said, that might not be working out for you. So try something different.